If you come here and you visit me, you're going to flea markets, man. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Hunting. So the majority of the collection that you guys are seeing behind me, I have primarily gotten at secondhand stores like garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores. I love collecting all of these 80s and 90s childhood pieces of my past, but it is no fun to me to just jump on the Internet and buy this stuff. It is all about the thrill of the hunt, and today I am back out retro hunting with my boy Phoenix Resale. We are on the hunt for all things gaming and toys. And guys, we both win something at this flea market. I have never won anything at a flea market before, uh, and we both win something. The chances of this happening are absolutely insane. I cannot believe it. I'm not gonna spoil it. You guys just check out the video. But before we get into it, if you do love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia, everything from retro video games, movies, toys, and more, do me a favor and hit that friggin' subscribe button. Every single Monday and Thursday, we're coming out with new retro content, and I don't want you guys to miss it. Let's get into this week's hunt. Only weirdos like us wait in line for flea markets and <laughs> trying to get, do what get, you gotta do. Trying to get, gotta get good deals. Get, get good deals. <laughs> so everything's usually a dollar. I actually just sold this on the Blu ray for like 17 bucks. Really? Like, not DVD. Oh, oh, yeah. there. Is there? A couple of them. Oh, yeah. We got. Oh. I don't know. For a dollar, I don't know either. Always Zumba. I know that's not anything. All right, the master is gonna get out his. He, he's mostly Amazon, right? Yep. And the Amazon seller app is super nice for just easily seeing how much something is yeah, worth. Yeah. So let's see what it pulls up. I bet. So it I bet like... it's seven. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Let's see if it's complete yeah, in there, in good shape, and used. Look at that. Eleven bucks after fees. Let's go. Hey. First score of the day. Ten dollar profit. <laughs> there you go. He can have it. Because I wouldn't be able to you buy don't want this. No, I probably wouldn't be able to get anything off on eBay for yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Especially that's the shipping and stuff. The benefit of the benefit mm -hmm. of Amazon. So that like, like, I got. I don't know. Though. All these Blu-rays, a buck each. Star Trek. Ooh, looks like one of the newer ones. The day after tomorrow. This is fun for me. I generally is, don't have a like, ton of luck with Blu-rays. See, yeah, this one the lowest listed is a dollar ninety-two. Right. So that's gonna that's gonna be the case with most. This one, well, maybe something. The question I always ask with Blu-rays. So this one looks like uh, it'd be like in new condition to be four after fees. So okay. it's like this one's used. That's it's not gonna sell for that. I always ask myself with these like, was this ever on Walmart store shelves? Right. If so, it's probably not gonna be worth anything because the supply yeah. is gonna be huge. Yeah, this one, same thing. Yeah. Not worth anything. Whoa, this looks like some kind of rip-off Blu-ray. have no idea. Gotta love, gotta love some Superstar. Oh, what is this? I it's even, retro. It is retro. <laughs> I didn't even know this was a thing. Hey. Uh, $2.18, is oh, that what you're looking for? Yeah, that's exactly. Oh, <laughs> hey, there's another another game. Okay. W-S-O-P. Is that one you have we in ever, the uh, collection lit yet? I don't. I actually don't think I have this. I mean, original Xbox. Yeah. Other than nothing. You're right. Let's do this. Uh -oh. Have you ever played a poker game? Yeah. So, well, I wish I could get this out. There we go. Oh yeah. One buck. I uh, always see those things at video game stores, and there's there's always so many of them. I've literally never played a poker game. Yeah. I mean, I, I was a huge poker player. I was gonna ask you, uh, ever ever into hold them? That's yeah. That was my I've, thing. I've played it like with cards, but not not on any system yeah all right so both <clears throat> me and caleb have something so far so yeah definitely has been picked through for sure but we're finding we're finding a couple things did he get snapped i think it's under here right there. and then going through I, i'm a vhs collector because i'm psycho here's for that looks like something mm -hmm. so found Yao's Young Warriors. I always like to scan just kind of weird stuff oh, yeah. like this that you're not likely to find a lot. 
This one, check that out. $13 after fees for this guy. Hey, the Yao Young War is another hit. See, you almost got your this gas money. It's a gold mine. You almost got your gas money. <laughs> <laughs> this trip's gonna pay for itself. Some Jimmy Neutron. I always forget, how old are you? 26. 26, so Jimmy Neutron might have been in your in your world, right? Yeah, I watched, I, I actually still like Jimmy Neutron. This is the theme song. I, it holds up. Show. It was a little after my time. I always say this. I think it's so crazy, like some of the VHS you see that seem like, like, should this have a VHS? Is yeah. it that old? Yeah. X Men is the one that always gets me. Yeah. This, so I found another one here that's okay. in this same series. What's that? Oh, yeah, right, yeah. right to the fight or whatever. Okay. Um, and this one, it looks like a good profit too. At you know, ten dollars after fees. But okay. the thing is. What you have to look at on Amazon is the sales rank too, and that's really high for DVDs, which means it's gonna sell super slow. So I'm probably gonna leave this super one. Super slow, like, yeah. what do you think, like six months? Like, so this was at 300,000 at 100,000 or so, which means it's like the 100,000th fastest selling DVD in the category. Right. It'll sell it around like once a month. So 300,000 is like, oh, you're yeah. not even getting once a month sales. Like this It'll thing be, is really slow. It'll be a long time. Yeah. So you're gonna pass on that one? I'm gonna pass on that. So do you ever see prices more on eBay versus Amazon or always Amazon Tire? The only thing that I would like really put on eBay is like if there's some sort of a condition issue with right. a game or something like that that I wanna be able to picture, then I'll put it on eBay. Or if it's something really high end and collectible that someone's gonna to wanna to see pictures of, that's when I would put something on yeah. eBay. But with DVDs, almost never. Yeah, that makes sense. Boxed sets. Some music. The kind of thing I definitely normally look at, except they all look pretty incomplete. I know. That one looks close. But I'm, I don't kinda, know. I'm kinda curious though. Let's see if they do go for anything. Where's the barcode? I don't see a barcode on this thing. Maybe it, maybe it had like an outer sleeve yeah. or something. I don't see it either. Yeah, I actually found a uh, anime box set here for a dollar one time. It was worth like 140. Oh my god! I couldn't even pronounce it. That's <laughs> like, amazing. Like, was yeah, it in all Japanese? The, yeah, all the writing was in Japanese. Wow. So I was like, well, that worked out. Some other sections. Yeah. Let's keep going. How often? How often do you come to a flea market and get a shopping cart? Oh man, I'm almost never at flea markets. People have been telling me I should more. All right, here's some photo paper. I always know. At least sometimes that new old stock stuff look. Yeah. Has some at least a little bit of value. Actually, last last week I got a really cool uh, little Nintendo DS uh, like little case bag mm -hmm. thing. Okay. For a quarter, literally just had a quarter sticker on it. This little book here just caught my eye. Sometimes when I'm looking for books, I'll look for like scholarly nonfiction kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, like textbooks and academic literature, stuff like that. This seemed kind of academic, so I thought I'd scan it, but it's not worth anything. Just kind of caught my eye. Well, how many times have we said, I almost didn't look it up, right? Yeah, and right. then it was actually worth something. Yep. Hey, Kayla, have you been looking for a Wilson badminton set? Specifically oh this gosh, one from the 70s? For months. Yep. <laughs> for months. Let's see, let's see if there are any rackets in here. It looks like just kind of a tangled net, but yeah. you could use your hands, I guess. <laughs> Here's a replacement mirror for something. Portable defibrillator. Oh no, dude! I, <laughs> no, dude! I have those under my bed already. That have they, have got, they got dust on them. <laughs> so do these. I haven't I haven't used them. Baseball well, bats. You were gonna say you don't normally find stuff in here. This looks like a kid's one anyway. Dude, baseball bats, mm -hmm. man. There's some major value. Mm -hmm. and there's a bunch of rackets in here too. So is that gonna be a, an eBay lookup? Yeah. Cause you can't really sell like. Fairly, fairly used things, right, on Amazon? Outside of, like, media, not really, or books. Yeah, yeah. Well, media. Not something I'm interested in. No. He's got his poo hat on. Oh, yeah, for represent. Usual. For usual. All right, electronics, straight ahead. Bunch of irons, man. I know where to come if I need an iron, because there is uh, five right there. We need, we, need, we need a big score. We need a big score here. And a big score Good does money, not money. a big score does not include iPhone four cases. <laughs> like what do what do they even do with these? <laughs> like who would even buy that? Yeah. Yep. What about these? I know nothing about VR stuff. 
is it like basically all worthless at this point? Uh, something like that, I would guess so. If it was like a PSVR headset, that's yeah. something to look at, but kind of interesting. Blank media. Oh yeah. Sometimes does well. I don't know about DVDs though. It's got a what whole if? bunch of, look at this, oh. sealed. Okay. You didn't expect to find sealed stuff today, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Not those. I always think, what if this is just filled with a bunch of like, yeah, yeah. PS1 RPGs. Uh-huh. <gasps> uh, and? Nothing. Not, a not even not even a burnt disc. Not a single RPG in there. Hey, what is this? It's a little tripod. It almost looked nice. <laughs> Here's some cables. Did we find something game related? We did. Hey, there you go. A PlayStation One, Two, and Three, right? You can use them for all three. We're gonna do a Sony, some kind of Sony charger. Uh -huh. These are things that I sell. I don't do a lot of on the channel, uh -huh. but I've sold in the past. Um, See if you can get a number on that. ADP 65UH. I'm gonna guess $12. Looks like sold are at 16, 14, 19, 10. And that was, that 19, was that on April, in April? <laughs> yeah, those so, are all fairly recent. I mean, that's See, there's money in there. Yeah. I'm not gonna get it, but 50 cents. <laughs> I already see some huge, ginormous stuff, plushes. You, you need to take those home with you in your, on your trip back. Look at these. <laughs> oh, I could fill my entire Prius oh, with these things. Holy crap. Hey, T-Rex, I love dinosaurs as a kid. I love dinosaurs now. He's munching on this guy. <laughs> All right, so here we go. There's always a plethora of uh, Beanie Babies. Always a lot of Beanie Babies. Wow, look at this. <sighs> look, this is what I think of, man. <laughs> Someone donated their frog collection. Their frog they collection. had, they every Christmas, every birthday, Someone got them a frog thing, and Ooh. then now they're just donated. You know what this guy is? I don't know. Who's that? It's a Webkins. Anyone out there was into Webkins, hit me up. What's the coolest thing about Webkins? So many pets to choose from. Contest! Decorating my pet's room. The secret code that unlocks Webkins world. I don't know what that is. You don't know Webkins? No, it's, what is Do it? you know, um, like, Neopets? Oh yeah, yeah. It's okay. a little bit older, maybe maybe closer, but yeah, these were like stuffed animals that you could buy that were associated. They also had a digital code. Okay. So like you got the physical stuffed animal and you also got like the virtual stuffed animal and you could like play games with them and stuff like that. You could mine for gems and like okay. cook stuff. It was fun. Phoenix resells, uh, no, Phoenix toy <laughs> channel. He's my secret it. passion. Yeah. Webkin's connoisseur. Look at this, it's his son. Another one? Yep. Mini. So, do you think those are worth anything? No. They're not worth anything? Nope. Hey, uh-oh. You need it. Look, you need your poo, your poo puzzle. Oh, man. My boy Tigger. Ages four to eight. <laughs> or 26. <laughs> hey. <laughs> 50 cents each for all poker. games. Video Pursuit, Passion Play. This is interesting. Soda Bottle Science. Looks somewhat old. At least it looked old. Maybe it's not. Here they are. Always. These are probably like a quarter. A quarter of Beanie Baby. Or cheap. Or at least somewhat cheap. Because nobody wants them. Ooh. Now, do you know what this is? No. You don't know what this is? No, I never had that. Oh. I never played it. It's, dude, it's amazing. It's, uh, it's a board game. One of the classic 90 board games. Uh -huh. Nice board games. Here is a, uh, hockey puck it's a restaurant marketing on a hockey puck <laughs> which is weird to me because is it's, it arkansas it's That's arkansas yeah. yeah it's like not even do you know what this is of course my son's obsessed with cars all right i'll give you that one yeah you don't have a bunch yeah, of don't. the uh, cars cars that's Whoa. what we call them at least they're like <laughs> they're like hot wheels basically but they're for sure. Cars theme. That's a that's a that's a win to see this. The only thing is it doesn't have anything with it and I already own it. So but yeah, yeah if you so if you find it. if you find this uh -huh. with like the pieces, it's about probably a seventy dollar game or so. Wow. I love looking through the old books. Archie books. They almost look like Pokeball things. Look at these. It works. You ever play with Connect? I never As no, I kid. never did. I never did. My friend and I used to Get your Make, webkins. <laughs> yeah, we we get all our webkins together, <laughs> and then we and then we'd uh, make connects cars and okay. take turns sending them down the stairs, and whoever's lasted longer won the game. I like it. Wouldn't really work with this guy, but 
I need to know what this is. This is like girthy too. Feel this. What is that? It's substantial. Uh-huh. Feels like there's some weight. Is this Thundercats? Is that what that is? I don't know. <laughs> I've never, I don't know if I've ever seen that. I don't either. And it doesn't seem super old, but. Oh, something's broken on here. Oh man. Let us know if you know what this is. Yeah, we just passed up on a valuable piece, I'm sure. I do know what, I do know this. This is Paw Patrol, my son, man. I didn't know anything about Paw Patrol. I had kids and now it's on repeat on at the house. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm all about some dipping Dots now. Oh, dude, dude, you what know what that. Another, there was some heart that went into this, holy cow. Well, here's here's what you do. You buy that, Mother's uh -huh. Day. Uh -huh. <laughs> I guess not Mother's Day, y'all have any kids. All right, birthday. You get that for your wife uh -huh. and you literally tell her, babe, I'm, I made this for you. I made this. <laughs> I made it out of a, out of a 70s couch. Yeah. I deconstructed and if it. If she doesn't appreciate that, you, you got some stuff to talk about, man. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so the rest is like dishes and stuff. Mm -hmm. There could be a cool like Nintendo piece or something that we're not gonna we're not gonna mess with it. We're just gonna we're gonna leave with our official World Series of Poker. That's mine. <laughs> One dollar. We didn't yep. even check value because I'm sure it's worth like two or three. And then you got about what do you what are you thinking? Probably is like that twenty bucks of profit right here? At least I'll take it. I think at least twenty for yeah. two bucks. So we're gonna check out. Not a bad haul. And head to the next place. So we did not find much at the St. Joe thrift store, so I take Phoenix resale over to another flea market that we are really close to, guys. I haven't been to this one in quite a while, but I have scored here before. I've scored games and toys, so me and Phoenix resale head over to this flea market in hopes to score again. Next up is the Painted Goat. If you come here and you visit me, Caleb, you're going to flea markets, man. Oh, look at that. Look at that thumbnail. Except your hair. Over just a little bit. There. Money. Wow, that's like, it feels like a real one. Like a it? real, it feels like a real marching band. Hat. Dream major or something like that. Hat? It's not a hat. Uh, I don't know. I don't either. Say you. So it looks like all Arkansas pennants. Somebody is really proud of Arkansas and all the universities. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't care about anything except for this super pretzel kiosk machine Whoa. thing. That goes in the I that needs to go in the game, dude. Me too. Oh, Anian. I can't go to the mall without getting my Anian's pretzel. Oh, it's so good. It's impossible. We got flipper. Cats and dogs. I haven't even seen that before. Only thing too. Ooh, you see what I'm seeing over here? The M&M &M Nutcracker? Ten, Ten bucks. bucks? Sealed? Is it sealed? I don't know. Nope, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> not, not at all. Ripped. In box, though. Hey, man, this wasn't even where this was. Oh, I can't take you anywhere. Wait, was it? Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> there were two. <laughs> There's three, dude. You walked right by another one. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, goodness. Look at that. Bug life and ends on a roller coaster on the motorcycle <laughs> and the roller coaster. <laughs> That's hilarious. Thirteen dollars. I love flea markets. So does your does your wife like to go to flea markets? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. We have a super big one in our town. Okay. It's like kind of overwhelming. Like it just keeps going and yep. going. It's like a vendor booth kind of a place. And yeah, my wife is not into the flea it's market kind of, life. Yeah, it's kind of exhausting. <laughs> Flintstones action. I'm not big into these like reproduction little tin signs. I see them all the time, especially around here. Just not for me, man. Little container of Disney pins okay. over there in the glass case. Normally they're like three bucks a piece, Okay. but he's selling them for like a buck 29. Okay. And my wife and I in like a month are going to Disney World. And we were looking to buy some anyway. I'm actually, I'm kind of freaking out that he has some and they're cheap, so I need to go ask him about them. Yeah, let's go look at them. Little box of Disney pins there. Absolutely. There you go. Some beauties. What is that? So this is like a, like in the shape of the name tag that all the people at Disney wear. And okay. I think it's supposed to be like an elephant or something like that. Wow. Yeah, the Colonel Jr. You know who that is, right? Retro Rick, Shirley. Uh, oh gosh. <laughs> Come on, this don't is the call, test. Don't call me out. <laughs> Jungle Book. Okay. The yeah, little yeah. kid elephant. Okay, so I'm gonna edit all this out at this point <laughs> so I don't get destroyed in the comments. 
Got a little oh, Mickey, Mickey glove hand. there. Yep. So how much are these? Yeah, I know she's doing a special with her four for five. Four for five bucks. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely have to pick some of these up. We got a Walt Disney train there. Okay. A little Mickey head. Cool. I don't know what that is. That's not Donald. Some sort of no, a... No, I don't know what it is either. It doesn't even say. I actually had a Disney employee coming here. Oh, and really? look at these one time uh -huh. and started telling me about some of them. Um, really? A Disney said, employee? There's a mix of Euro Disney in there and then also Disney Tokyo. And really? they have some characters that are completely different from what we know. <laughs> That's oh, cool. Wow. And are they might be in there as well. Oh, yeah. wow. That's cool. Some of the conventions they have for their actual employees were themed. And like one of them was called Jungle Gym. But she saw some Jungle Gym pins in there. Uh, last time she was here. Interesting. Yeah. You care if I see those Pez? Yeah. Up here. Yeah. We got a Batman one, which actually this one's actually really cool. I know it brings up memories for me as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got to check this out. Scar on a tie. Oh. Where else are you going to find that? That's, Dude, that's, that's really, going in the That's S pile. really cool. Yeah. No, that, that's going to be coming home with me. Wow. Where are y'all from? I'm from around here. He's not. Yeah, oh, I'm cool. from Lexington, Kentucky. Oh, fantastic. I need to yeah. drive out here. Look at that. Gaston get Pie. Him, get him out of Are here. you serious? <laughs> Pick up. <laughs> yep, I'm getting that one. Not too villainous for me. I might have to get this uh, little retro piece that Rick didn't recognize. Ah, stop. <laughs> that was hard to know. I mean, is that what he looks like in the in the movie? It's, it's a that, little bit impressionistic. Okay. I was like... <laughs> I don't remember that at all. <laughs> oh, this, okay, this might be what uh, that employee was talking about. It says Disneyland. Okay, so not mm -hmm. not uh, Paris or anything. What's it but look this like is, on the front? This is actually from, what is that, 2008. Little Mickey head there. That's pretty cool. Hmm. I might have to get that just because it's over 10 years old. Well, that's cool. Okay, so that leaves me at, okay, that's five. Or no, four for five. I might have to throw some other ones in there. Let's go with eight. To, to make it even, right? Let's go with eight. Let's, yeah. let's go hogging. with the, okay, yeah, you get in there. I mean, not that I'm like I'm super interested mm -hmm. in any of these. Making a trip in a month or so here, so I'm, it's good to stock up. I think I'm gonna go for that Mickey glove. That's yeah, I was cool. gonna say I like that. You gotta get that one. Oh wait a second. So this is like a like a colorless one. Like it doesn't have any of the. Oh, yeah. I think that's like a different style. Do you know who that is? I can't make it out on this. If you guys at home know what that what is, is, you get that? extra points. That's it's a villain. I'll give you that hint. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's Jafar on a bowling pin. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Gotta get that one. Yeah, that's coming home with me. Dude, this is bugging me. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Yeah, give if me you hint. know the name. So he's from Fantasia. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't know that. He's, I the, big, know that. he's the big uh, devil guy in Fantasia. His name's Chernabog. Goodness. Dude, I'm a Disney scholar a little bit. Okay, so that's not gonna lie. Third channel. <laughs> yeah. Phoenix Disney. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, so what's that leave me at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I gotta put one back. I'll put back. You see what is eight. that? France? You need eight, right? Yeah, I think I have I think I have nine. Oh, yeah, okay. this would be nine. Yeah. You know. What is is that France? Yeah, let's yeah. put that back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well he'll he'll hold them for us. Awesome. Good deal, yeah. That's Thank that you. Little for you. Wow. <laughs> Did you know I I'm, I'm assuming you knew this morning you were going to get Disney pins. Oh, yep. It was top of my list. I actually found some good DVDs in this booth right here multiple times. I don't see anything right now. I mean, Home Alone 2. One of my favorite movies of all time. I love Groundhog Day also. Whoa. Love me a good VCR game. All right, Caleb. I know I'm about to show you something that you don't know about. This is a VCR game. Ooh. I wish I could say I knew about this, but I you know, not. I, basically just like DVD games yeah. that are at this point old too. Yeah, like seen <laughs> here, it. Here is VCR. And you just really play it once because it's the same tape. <laughs> there's no... It's there's like, no, that's it, man. That's amazing. Whoa. I, I literally have never even seen this before. Nat Geo. Have you seen it before? A replacement case. Uh, I'm sure I have. I don't know. Let's see. You think you think it's worth anything? Uh, I don't. I don't probably think it is. Yeah, I would. Yeah, about what it's stickered at. Three well, fifty-five. It's fifty percent off today. Here. Oh, okay. <gasps> Sometimes you can. Did you say eleven. Sometimes you can sneak in a random sports game. Yeah, a little a little profit on there. Not on this one. Dang. Buck seventy-two on that. <laughs> <laughs> and who's buying it? Like, who specifically wants? Yeah, I mean, apparently some people do. The rank isn't bad. Old McDonald's toys. I say old. I don't know. Scooby-Doo. Ooh, is, is that a Lost that? Toy? And Peter Pan. 
Madagascar too. Yeah, yeah, of course you know these. These are when you were a kid. Yeah, these are definitely <laughs> hitting the cord for me. All right, this is one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid. It's called The Warriors of Virtue. He is the last hope to bring together five legendary warriors. How's it going? He is often a bit cranky. Who use the forces of nature as their weapons. What? It's fighting kangaroos, ninja kangaroos. Are they virtuous? Oh, they win. <laughs> And they are, yes, they're good hearted. That's amazing. And I love, I love that movie. Ooh, look at all of the Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen VHS. My, my sisters had like every single one of those. Ooh, look where it's from. Tell me you've got quarters. Look where it's from. The piggly wig. Is that legit though? It just looks like that's been no, done afterwards. No, it probably doesn't. It's <laughs> probably not. Do you have any quarters? I, I have no quarters for you, Caleb. Come I'm on. sorry. Oh, I want to play so bad. 50 cents? I gotta see if you've got change up there. Oh my gosh, we're gonna do this. Oh, I found another game. I found a game. I'm literally gonna buy there was this. One out of it. Oh man, it was meant it's to a, be. It's a poker day. Dude, you have to get that. Oh, oh what? Uh -uh. Here right, we go. Rick. We were playing some uh, quarter got machine. Some change, and I even got you a dollar worth of quarters. Oh. You have two tries. Gosh, all right. I'll go first. Yeah. All right, what are we gonna go for? <laughs> I, I feel mean, we've got the Arkansas guy right there. Yeah, he I feel looks like that's he a looks nice prime. Uh, little souvenir. Oh yeah, look, it's lit, it's lit up and everything. Are you notoriously good at this? Uh, I don't know if I've done this in ten years, but yes. Ooh, that that edge might block me. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm gonna try anyway, though. Do you think that's about right? Yeah. Come on, baby. What was that? It didn't even go down all the way. I was like, it, I think it hit it. It hit the side. Oh my good. Okay, we gotta try a different one. Maybe. Look, to see what do you think that there. green lucky guy back there? It's just, like, it's, it's just, it's just, it's right on the edge too. Like, like, not, no, the panda is prime. You, okay. The panda, panda is like, and I'm going to stay right here. Uh, I'll go a little bit that way. A little bit more. Oh, Try that way, really? Yeah. From where I'm sitting, I think I've got the angle this way better. Okay. Whatever you think. What, what it's your you quarter. Like back and forth. Um, 10 seconds. Left. You're right there. Come on, baby. Big money. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I, told, I told you that was the one. I got I a panda, told... baby. Let's go. <laughs> go. Go show him. I got one. <laughs> he still got, got, got one. Panda. Here we go. All right. Retro that was... Rick's claw machine skills. Can they stand up? That's Here's the thing. <laughs> that was perfectly placed. He was like... You like did, you did call that one. Like, I don't even know what else to get. There's some kind of like bear right there with a bow. You could really try to take the cake with this big fluffy one right there. I'm just gonna try for this mid, I don't even know why. I'm gonna try for that middle bear right there. There's like a little- The bear. light one? Uh, no, it's a, uh, it's got like a little butt, red bow on it. Yeah. Dude, if your heart is telling you that. First try. A little bit, no, a little bit closer to you. There you go. Oh. <gasps> Oh, dude, it's placed though. It's well positioned. Look at that. It's ready for you on the second one, dude. Look at this on the bootleg Piggly Wiggly machine. <laughs> All right, tell me, tell me over there how okay. you feel. Uh, it looks. A little more forward. Yeah, that's good. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, pal. He's done it. We're done. <laughs> Got the bear! Oh my gosh, two for two? Are you serious? That, that's wild, man. This does not happen. Oh my goodness. This is perfect for my daughter. I can't oh, believe it. That's amazing. Don't lie. <laughs> this that is was crazy. to be. Okay, just confirmed. Piggly Wiggly machine was actually from Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> and it's that's for amazing. sale. $800 for the actual machine. <laughs> this, these guys, okay, half off of these. That's pretty good. Two bucks each, two fifty each. And this is going to be an this Amazon guy. thing, right? Yeah. It's a little... A little bent. Mm, probably oh. not on that. And these, they are, they've seen seen better days, I'd say. Yeah, he's kind of cool too. But it looks like a, that plastic's a little yellowed. Yeah, it'd be the kind of thing that'd be in used condition. Yeah, probably, probably will still pass on those, but I mean, 250 a piece, that's... Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a Rosie O'Donnell doll. <laughs> oh my right by gosh, there. this is wild. She was in 
Uh, obviously, a ton of stuff. Twenty-five dollars. The very first Nickelodeon movie. Rosie Donald's in Harriet huh. the Spy. That's kind of cool. Never would have known. And there's a, a kind of a cool Donald. It looks homemade. Like somebody made that in their pottery class. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> For all of life's toughest problems. Well, it's from Staples. Shoot. Which is, are they even open anymore? <laughs> the batteries. Yeah, they're open. Are they? Yeah. Found a game. And I found a... Is this a knockoff Santa Claus 3 movie? It's Japanese. Oh, <laughs> wow. All right, we got NBA 2K18 on the PS on the PS3. That would be the last NBA 2K game, which surprisingly doesn't really have a lot of value. The reason why I know exactly why that one doesn't have very much value is I went to Walmart one time uh -huh. and they had like a whole stack of them, <laughs> and I bought all of them because you know you buy the last, and it's right. still only like 15 bucks. Like yeah. they're still not going up in value. Well, I mean, new though is how much did you pay? Uh, I pay about 15 bucks. <laughs> well, you know, not your just, best. I'm just kind of foreseeing the future at least trying oh mind freak I actually do want you to look this up do you know what this is yeah is it like magic yeah. kind of stuff uh dollar 78 <laughs> chris angel nobody wants valuable nobody sorry, wants you sorry, chris brother. oh i don't know which ones i don't entirely either but some i mean it's been a while Ooh. Any Arthur fans out there? How could you not be, man? You, you probably don't even know what this is, given your track record today. I know what Arthur <laughs> is. Jerkweed. <laughs> Berenstein Bears. Berenstein, I like them. I, I read a bunch of those books as a kid. These are always fun. Mm. These are cool. Is that new? What do you know? Oh, it's trying to work. <laughs> That's cool, though. That's brand new. a while ago. Dude, I love Hercules. This is a great What year is movie. that? See what year that is. Like 98? Mm. We're just really struggling with Doesn't years. even say. It's got to be mid to late 90s. Yeah. And then there it goes. It worked. It just, it just resurrected <laughs> spontaneously. <laughs> That's amazing. That's awesome. And then there's a couple, uh, or there is a Star Wars figure. Oh, he's perfectly placed on that screw. Oh, this is cool. Freeze frame action slide. And this is... Seven bucks. Kenner, 1997. Okay. I think Furbies are weird. And this is some special edition one. Christmas Furby? I have never seen this before. Three bucks? Three. What, do you, are they valuable? Son, he might need to be cleaned up a bit, but he's from the 90s and he's Christmas edition. He's got the tag, it's three. Furby original. Getting them. <laughs> Tendo is going to be very, very jealous of this. Maybe you could trade him for uh, a game. Video yeah, he probably would. <laughs> All right, one flea market and the St. Joe Catholic flea market. So I guess yep. two flea markets down. I got World Series of Poker. Why? I think you talked me into it. I don't even know why <laughs> I got it, but it was a dollar. Apparently, and poker games are good. Never it, it's knew it complete. before. Original Xbox. Who cares? Yep. And then you got. We don't have it because we, I we dropped it off in my car, and yeah. now here we are in Rick's Jeep. But I got a Wii game complete. Just Dance Hottest Party 2. 2, yeah, the second one's really good. Yeah, for a buck, and then also a, like, Kung Fu DVD. For yeah, a buck. which I think both together was, like, 25 bucks in value. Yeah. $2, so uh, nothing crazy there. But then we went to this <laughs> other flea market I knew it was going to be just a kind of a, a quick stop. It's not, you know, super huge or anything like that. And um, it wasn't actually that quick. They had a, I mean, there was yeah, a lot of stuff yeah, to see in there. Yeah, we actually did. We yeah. actually did go... Uh, around the flea market for a while. So the first thing, the first thing you get was your pins. Yeah. So you get a bunch of different pins that you guys saw. I shot yeah, quite a bit of footage on, of those. Be bringing these little suckers to Disney World with us. We've got uh, with us. I'm going too. He's paying my way. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> yep. Free ticket. Uh, just a whole bunch of, and I think we got shots of most of these little like villains pins and like Mickey head country They're super pins. Cool. They're yeah. really cool. Are you a denim jacket guy? Because that's really what you could only thing you can wear them on, right? You actually wear them on necklaces. You like get a lanyard, yeah, pin the oh, things on. Oh, at there, okay. Yeah, I was thinking just in general. No, I no, I do in you know day to day life as well. That's why I didn't know. <laughs> no, I do. I have. I had a denim jacket for about a week and then I returned it because my wife told me that I looked too much like a youth pastor. <laughs> And I ain't gonna be no dang youth fashion. Yeah, no, who would do that? Yeah, a little Mickey glove here. And then, oh, yeah, so the highlight. The well, highlight. actually, the Furby. Do you want to talk about the Furby, too? Well, uh, I'll talk about the Furby first. So this is a 
Christmas Furby from 1999. Furbies are horrifying. They're terrifying. <laughs> no one should ever own one, but I'm the person that buys them and sells them. And this one sells for on the low end, like 20 to 25, uh, but it still has its tag. Uh, it's pretty dirty. So if you guys have any tips on how to clean like material, uh, that would be super helpful. I know Tendo will probably want this, and if anything, I saw a uh, Furby from 1999 for three bucks. So pick that up. But the win, the win is that we won. Piggly Wiggly Crane could not, Game. Could not have planned it. And you were all about it. You're like, oh no, 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 we're doing this. Yeah, oh, I, I actually really like claw machines, weirdly enough. I know that they're like, you know, rigged and stuff like that, but it's just fun. Well, they weren't rigged today, or we're just extremely skilled. I know, I was surprised. Two tries each. Yeah, so the only cents. four total. Normally they'll have like a ratio where you can only win like every seventh one or something like that. Like you can program so, and that. And it's not seventh, it's like 30th. <laughs> oh yeah, or whatever. But yeah. Second time or your first Panda time? Man, yeah. No, second. Second time, Panda Man, what is it, Carol's? Caroling cuties. Yeah. This is like the crap Caroling cuties. Collect all 12. This is like the stuff you get at the fair that you nobody oh, ever yeah. needs. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, you win from a game. It's all about... It's this just, would be the prize that like is the $5 game that like you're guaranteed to win a prize. And they can do that because the prizes cost like 17 cents to manufacture. Oh, right. Right. 100%. And then I, I, I won too. I can't... I, I didn't it. think you would, there but yeah, the first anything. one, you kind of, you got it out of its hole. This one was here, right? Yeah. This was perfectly, like, just like, it was there. Yeah, it was I ready for nothing. me to take it. I had nothing. First he was try, buried. First try, buried, grabbed uh, grabbed the head, it kind of like popped out a little bit, and then yep. it, it flipped kind of similarly, and then here we are. Took I mean, it home. I mean, God is good, the Lord has <laughs> blessed us with uh, some plushes. I'm going to give my this to my daughter. She's seven months old. She will get it, and she'll chew it for a little bit, and then it'll go probably in the trash can. There you go. But thank you for I don't know my... what I'm going to do with this one. Maybe just put it on my uh, rear dashboard or my my trunk yeah. to stare what at people. What you should do, what he should do on his channel. Also, I talked about it at the beginning of this video mm -hmm. with, with my intro, but um, Caleb has an awesome YouTube channel. Um, but I think what he should do is you should do like, have you seen the, the, the paper clip trade game? game? It's like oh, trading yeah. up. Yeah, you yeah, should yeah. trade and see what you can trade on your channel for that and <laughs> what, see what yeah. can happen. Somebody reach out to me <laughs> on uh, in a comment or on Instagram or something yeah. if you want to trade for this panda and you have something bigger or better yes. to trade me and I'll see where I can get. I would get. say, no, here, I'm going to do this because okay. you can't say this. I can say this. Okay. I want somebody right now to contact Caleb and trade him something $5 in values. Okay, That's there we go. Yeah, point. I'll be up. Five bucks and let's see what happens. Anyway, all right, we have a bunch to film. We're gonna go to um, a couple more places, but um, this is our first video so far. Got the stuff animals, the Furby, some games. Not bad. Guys, subscribe if you have not already. And until next time.